So Pilates, lay down. So we always want neutral spine. You don't want to arch your back, but at the same time, you don't want to push down either. Um, so find your neutral spine. Take your stomach, pull it in really tight. Take your arms right alongside of you. And when you inhale, lift up your head, neck, and shoulders. And then you want to take your shoulders back. You want to feel the very tips of your shoulder blades touching the mat. And then when you exhale, slowly come down. So let's inhale, come up, reach the arms, tips of the shoulder blades touch the mat. And exhale. Coming down, we've got one more time. Inhale, come up, reach the arms, stomach tight, nice and strong. And then coming all the way down when we get there, bring your head down. Drop the head a little bit side to side, listen up your neck. So if at any time your neck is tired, tight, you can always keep your head down, definitely. Do that if you need to. So I usually like to start with the hundred, so let's do that. So a little easier on your hundred, you can bend your knees. This is called tabletop position. If you want, you've got your Pilates stance, your heels touch, your toes are apart. And if you want harder, you're gonna extend the legs out, but not arching your back. So arms are long, head, neck, and shoulders comes up, tips of the shoulder blades touch the mat. Get ready, looks like this. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Last one. Bring the head down, relax, hug in. Drop your head a little bit side to side. All right, now next one. We're going to just bring our legs up to a tabletop position and try not to be here. You're going to keep your knees pretty much right over your hips. And then we're going to take our hands so you don't want to pull on your head. You just want your fingertips to touch your head. And let's lift up the head, neck, and shoulders. And so get ready. We're going to inhale. We're going to bring first the legs down. Now you can almost touch the back. And then exhale, come up. And then bring your upper body down. And come up. So inhale, come down. Exhale, come up. Inhale, come down. Exhale, come up. Inhale, down. Exhale, up. Inhale, down. Exhale, up. Coming down, and up, and down, and up. Ooh, coming down, and up, and down, and up. So two more. Down, and up, down, and up. One more time. All right, let's hug the knees in, relax. Rock the head a little bit side to side, loosen up your neck, relax. Ooh. All right, next one. Let's take one leg long, one knee in. Notice the elbows, don't let them be here. Get them here, keep them here. Head, neck and shoulders comes up, inhale for two, exhale for two. So in and in, 
and out and out. So nice long length when it comes out. Try to keep those elbows up and keep it going. Nice and strong. Inhale, inhale. Exhale, exhale. In and in and out and out. In and in and out and out. Let's go four more. So nice and strong. If you needed to bring your head down, you could do that. And then last time. Ooh, all right, come down. Let's bring the head down. So next one, let's keep the head down. Keep our neck. A little bit of a break. There. All right, so let's do the hip raise. So our legs are gonna come up. You want to avoid this. So avoid like the momentum swinging. You want to just try to lift up and lower down. So get ready. Here we go. So nice and strong. So just take your time here. Keep it going and just give that neck a break. Keep it going. Nice and strong. And let's go for four and three and two. And then last one, bring the legs down the back. Ooh. Relax. I'm just going to move away from my wall a little bit. So now next one, we're going to bend our knees again, this tabletop position. And if you want, you can cross at the ankles. Um, so, so we're going to pick up the head, neck, and shoulders. First, we're going to go here as if you're going to clap your hands. Not that you have to clap your hands. And then you're gonna bring them up. So it's a little bit like the double leg stretch. Um, similar, except for our legs aren't gonna move. All right, so get ready. So come up and maybe two claps there, two claps there. If you can, don't worry so much about the clapping part. So nice and strong. Keep it going. Keep it going. Let's go for four and three and two and then last one and come down, relax. Back the head a little bit. So let's switch gears a little. Let's get some glutes and some legs. So let's bring our feet to the mat. And our feet are going to be about hip width apart and nice and close, as close as you could do without actually using your hands. And then we're going to just lift up and you want to hold your hips up and you want to really make sure that this is squeezing. Squeeze your glutes really tight. All right, now a couple inches. Gonna take one foot out, the other foot out. Lower down, you don't, you don't have to touch, close to touching. Squeeze back up and then in and in and same thing down and squeeze up. So out and out, come down, squeeze up, in and in, down, squeeze up, out and out, down and squeeze, in and in down and squeeze, out and out, down and squeeze, in and in, down and squeeze. So let's go a couple more times here. Ooh, all right, let's go one more time. So out and out and down and squeeze and in and in and down and squeeze and then let's come down completely and shake out those legs. All right, so I've got another one working sort of that same area. So we're gonna take our feet and bottoms of the feet together. I don't know if you can see that. So it looks like that, bottoms of the feet together. And so first, we a couple crunches. And then second, we'll lift up 
and bring those knees in. So, fingertips by the head. Just regular basic crunches here. So let's start with just four and three. Now try to keep your elbows back. And two, and then last one. And then get ready, so four and three and two, and then last one, come down, and let's go back to crunches. Let's do again, four, and three, and two, last one, and then get ready. We've got four, and three, and two, and last one, coming down, let's do it again. So four, and three, and two, and last one, and last time, four, and three, and two, and then last one. Come down, and let's shake out the legs a little bit. And then let's take them long, so right here, I'll stretch this a little bit. Flexor. Let's take the arms overhead and just take a really good long stretch. Somebody's pulling the arms. Ah, somebody else is pulling on your legs. Should feel so good that stretch. All right, well, this sets us up nicely for the roll up. So let's reach our arms and let's inhale, come up, and then exhale, stretch. And then coming down, so inhale and take your time. Roll down and then exhale, arms up. So coming up, inhale, coming up. Exhale, coming over. Inhale as you come down. And then exhale, overhead. So keep it going. So the inhalation is the work part and the exhalation is the stretch. And same thing on the way down. Nice and strong. All right, let's go to more time. And then we've got one more time. Whew. And when you get there, take the arms overhead, take a nice long, long stretch. Let that feel good. Whew. All right, now next one, I think we did this one last week. Um, so it's the crisscross, but we're gonna cut it down. So the first, first part of the crisscross will be one side, and then the other, and then we'll put it together. Now, if you want to, well, let's pick up, say, the right leg, and then take the right arm out, so palm is down. That'll help a little bit. And then your fingertip is going to be right by your ear or right behind your ear. Try not to pull. Try to keep that elbow out. So it looks like this. So we're going to in and out. Now, if you want it a little harder, this other leg is going to stay up in the air. But if you want it a little bit easier, it's going to be down on your mat. So we're going for four. So either way, right here or here. Two more. One more. All right, and then let's switch our sides. In and out, now you could be here. If you want. Or stay here. So four more. Four. And three. And two. And then last one, now let's alternate. So you want to inhale one way and exhale the other way and take your time 
and get your twist. Make sure you're not doing something like this. Really get your twist. All right, let's go four more. So take your time. And whenever it is that you're done, relax. Ooh, and rock the head a little bit side to side. Loosen up the neck. And relax. I'm just going to open it up a little bit so that legs will be more visible for the next one or two. All right, so let's do some leg circles next. So on these leg circles, you can bring your head, neck, and shoulders up, you know, like this, and that's going to be harder, or you can give your neck a break, bring them down. So your legs up, and you've got your Pilates stance, your heels touch, and your toes are apart. And it's going to look, look like this, so we're going to come out, down, and around, and stop. So try to exhale. Exhale around, stop. Exhale around, and stop. We've got four more like this. So we're going for four, nice and strong. And three. And two. And then last one. All right, let's go the other direction. So first we go down. Stop. So down and around. Stop. Down and around. Stop. Ooh, down and around. And stop. We've got four more times. So we're going for four. And three. And two. And then last one. Bring the legs down, relax, shake out those legs. All right, so let's do the scissor next. So let's bring our legs up. Pilates stance, heels touch, toes part. Try if you can, your legs are as straight as your legs can be. This way you're really working on flexibility too, which is always important. So one leg's gonna drop down, and then wide elbows like we did with the single leg stretch. Head, neck, and shoulders comes up, looks like this. Inhale for two, exhale for two. So inhale, inhale, and exhale, exhale. So try if you can to keep those elbows up, right, and sit down here. And nice and strong. Just keep it going. As straight as possible on the legs. And that flexibility. In and in. Out and out. In and in. And out and out. In and in. And out and out. So keep it going. Let's go for four. And three. And two. And then the last one. Whew. Come down. Rock that a little bit side to side. Let's see that neck. All right, now the next one, this one's always a good one. A little hard though. Our feet are going to come down to the end of the mat. This will be the double leg stretch. Um, first, so we'll do the upper, then the lower, and then put it together. So you've got your neutral spine, you've got your stomach tight. Get your arms alongside of you and the head, neck, and shoulders comes up and tips of the shoulder blades as always. Inhale, arms come up. Exhale, circle. Now try not to let your body move when you do this. Inhale, up. Exhale, circle. Inhale, up. And exhale, circle. So we've got four more. Going for four. And three, and two, and 
that last one. And then the head will come down. Drop your head a little bit side to side. All right, lower body. So upper body rests. Heels touch, knees apart. Inhale, extend. Exhale, back. So as low as you can go without the back arching. Extend down and come in. Extend out and come in. So we're going for four. And three. And two. And then last one. And relax. Ah. All right. Let's put that together. So we've got our heels touching, our knees wide, our arms reaching. Head, neck, and shoulders comes up. Inhale, open. Exhale, come in. Inhale, open. Exhale, come in. So out and in and out and in. We've got four more. Going for four and three and two and then last one. Ooh, all right. And relax. Drop your head a little. So let's bring our feet down to the mat. This time the feet are together. They're nice and close, they're together. So working on the thighs a little bit more. So right leg is gonna extend out. Let me do it this way, it's easier to tell. And our thighs are touching. And then we're gonna press in and lift up. And then just reach up, lift up, and lower down. So notice nothing else is moving, just the leg. So we're working this quad, squeeze your glute, and nice and strong. Ooh, so we've got four, and three, and two. All right, we've got last one, and then let's come up, come back up, hold it here, and we're just gonna pulse, eight and seven, six and five, four and three and two and then come down shake up those legs a little relax Ooh, and then we've got feet together knees together thighs together other leg is going to extend out push in lift up squeeze tight lifting up thighs together up and together up together and up and together so we've got four more like this four and three and two last one all right now come up and pulse it up eight and seven six and five four and three and two and then down, shake out those legs a little bit, relax. And then when you're ready, take your legs long. And let's take another long stretch. And relax, somebody's pulling your arms, somebody else is pulling on your leg. And just feel a really nice All right, well, let's get our legs lowering in. So on this one, you wanna go as low as you can go without arching your back. And you can, if you want, keep your head down. Or it would be harder, of course, if you lift up head neck. So let's bring our legs up. And we've got our Pilates stance, heels together. Toes apart, nice long legs. So get ready, inhale as you come down. Right before you're gonna arch your back, make a full stop. And then exhale. Come up. So coming down, nice and strong, stomach tight, folding. And then coming back up. So coming down long and strong and stopping. Back up. 
coming down long and strong. Now we're stopping. And then we're coming back up. And we've got four more like this. So coming down, going for four, nice and strong. And coming up and taking it for three. And coming up. Taking it for two. All right, and then when you get to your last one, we're just gonna hold it right here. And we've got four heel clicks. Four, three, two, one more. Come up, bring the legs down. And just relax and shake them out. Well, let's come over to one side. Switch gears a little bit. So this first one, if you happen to have a shoulder issue on the bottom shoulder, definitely don't want to lift your hips. So we're going to come onto the side. My floor is super hard. So I'm going to make this cushion. For my elbow, you can do the same if you have a hard floor. Shoulder, right above the elbow. Now you want to have your thighs stacked. You don't want to be like, you know, leaning back. You could do this though. So top arm up, lift your hips if you can, and it looks like this. So we're going under and up. And under. So nice and strong. And let's go four more like this. So we've got four. And three. And two. And then last one. And then let's come down. Come all the way out. And let's bring our feet to the front corner of the mat. Now your head could be up. You can rest your head down. Just make sure your whole body stays on its side. Right? You don't want to be moving back and forth. Try to keep, keep it still. So on this one, top leg lifts. When you come in front, we're going to flex the foot. When you come back, we're going to point the toes. Try to give an extra squeeze to your glutes when you do that. So get ready. Here we go. So front and front and back and back, front and front, and back and back. So try not to move the body with it. Front and front, and back and back, squeeze. Front and front, and back and back. Front and front, and back and back. So nice and strong, and just keep it going. Front and front, and back and back, nice and strong. Ooh, keep it going. Keep it going, nice and strong. All right, let's go eight more times. So we've got eight. And seven and six and five, four more. Going for four and three and two. All right, last one. Ooh, so bring the leg down. Now, next one, if you want, your bottom leg can hold up and that'll get some inner thigh work on the bottom leg. It could also be down. Top leg is gonna tap front for two. You can touch. On the way back, you can't touch. The way to touch, you'd be leaning back and you don't wanna roll over. So get ready, bottom leg up if you want. Stay right on your side. Front and front, and back and back. Front and front. Now you can keep your bottom leg down if you want. Front and front, and back and back. Front and front, 
and back and back. Try not to let your body move. Try to keep your body in still. Try to keep it still. Nice and strong. And let's take this one eight more times. So we've got eight and seven and six and five. We've got four more times. So going for four and three and two and then last one. Ooh, all right, bring the legs down, relax. All right, so next one, we're gonna bend our knees. So our shins are right up here at the front of the mat, the feet also at the front. Try to flex your feet if you can. And then there's one straight line from your knee right to your hip. So you kind of look like you're sitting in like a wooden chair. So pick up the top leg, bottom leg is going to stay down, knee, you don't have to touch the mat, but you're close. So we're down and we're up. So you're going to feel that a little more back there. So nice and strong. And keep it going nice and strong. So nice and strong. Work those glutes. And keep it going nice and strong. Ooh, keep it going. Hopefully you're feeling it by now. Keep it going. And then we've got eight more times. So we're going for eight and seven and six and five. We've got four more times. Going for four and three and two and then last one. And then let's bring this leg across and flex for a sec. All right, so we're going to take this to the other side. So starting off with that uh, under one the hip raise. So you're raising your hip as long as you don't have a shoulder issue. If you do have a shoulder issue tonight, just keep your hips down. So again, stacking one straight line, bending if you want, have arm up. Lift the hips and we're under and up. Under and up. Under and up. And keep it going. We've got four more. Four and three and two. And then last one. Ooh, and come down. All right, so bringing the feet to the front corner of the mat. And so the first one, bottom leg is down. You're flexing your foot to start. So it looks like this, front and front and back and back. Front and front and back and back. Front and front and back and back. So nice and strong, make sure you squeeze your glutes here. Nice and strong. And keep it going. Nice and strong. Keep it going. So front for two and back for two. Front for two and back for two. Front and front and back and back. Nice and strong. Keep it going. All right, we've got eight more. So going for eight and seven and six and 
and five, four more times. We've got four and three and two and then last one. Ooh, all right, bring the leg down. All right, so next one is that circle, quarter circle. Bottom leg could stay down. You could pick it up. Get ready. Front and front and back and back. So make sure you're right on your side. You're not letting your body turn. Keep it going. Nice and strong. Front and front and back and back. Front and front and back and back. Front and front and back and back. Keep it going nice and strong. We've got eight more. So front for two and back for two. And just keep it going. With those thighs. And we've got four more. Going for four. And three. And two. And then last one. Ooh, all right, relax a sec. All right, so next one, so we're bending. So our shins are up at the front. Feet also up in front, flexing and one straight line from the knee right to the hip. So pick up that top leg. You don't have to touch the mat, but you're close. If you're not touching, you are close. So nice and strong. So working back here. Nice and strong. So just keep it going. Head can come down if you want. Keep it going, nice and strong. Nice and strong, work those glutes. All right, and then we've got eight more times. So we're going for eight. And seven and six and five. We've got four more times going for four and three and two and then last one. Ooh, all right, take the legs across or leg across and then we'll just stretch a little bit before we move on. So coming up, bottoms of the feet together like we did before. But this time, we're just going to fold forward and stretch. Just relax. Drop those hips a little. Glutes the hips. Right, and then let's extend the legs out and just reach down. Don't worry if you don't touch your toes, you don't need to. Just reach down and just feel a good stretch on the backs of the legs. All right, so let's come up. And so let's bend our knees. And so you're leaning back a little bit, but you're not way back. Just bending the knees, leaning back a little bit. You can always fold your mat over if the floor is a little hard. And so let's do a twist. Let's do singles this time. We usually do twos or sometimes we do fours. Let's do singles. Harder, your feet are up. So get ready. So we're going to inhale one way and exhale the other. So in, out. So nice and strong. And again, if you want harder, pick up those feet. Try not to let your legs 
move all the way around though when you're doing that. We'll just try to keep them in place. So nice and strong. Ooh, so keep it going. And let's go four more times. So we've got four and three and two and then last one and extend down and just relax. So let's take the can-can. Everybody loves the can-can. So your hands are back and you're trying not to lean back into your hands. You're trying really not to put much body weight in your hands. And you're trying, if you can, to keep those knees together. So get ready. So pick up those legs and it looks like this. Inhale to the right. Inhale to the left. Stay here. We're going to exhale. Extend and bend. So notice that you're trying to sit up as tall as you can. Very light weight on your hands. In, 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 exhale, extend and bend. So now this one is about half, this one is halfway. Sometimes for me, this is where I start feeling like I'm gonna start cheating a little bit. So don't do that. Don't cheat. Keep the weight out of the hands. Try to sit up tall. I know this one's not the easiest. Two more times. So in, in. Stay here. Extend and bend one more time. Oh, those knees. Keep them together if you can. And then extend and relax and stretch. Ooh, and breathe. Relax. Always good. Always a little tough. All right, so let's come over onto the stomach, onto the belly. And so we'll do some planks and we'll do some back extensions. Work the back. So you're laying down on your stomach. So start. All right, so focusing on strengthening the back. So harder. Arms are out here. Pretty hard here. Could be here pretty hard. Gets a little easier if you move back, and you can always keep your hands on the mat. That's going to be a little bit easier. First eight, we're going to lift just the upper. Second eight, we'll, lift, we'll add the legs, and that'll give us some glute work, too. All right, so get ready. So... Let's inhale up and exhale down. Up and down. Nice and strong. And keep it going. Four more like this. Four. And three. And two. All right, last one. Now let's also lift the legs. So we've got eight and seven and six and five, four more like this. We've got four and three and two and then last one and relax. All right, next one, let's do, let's do the one on the elbows first. So we've got our elbows on the mat and we've got our shoulders directly above our elbows. And then, um, so now you can do this if you need to with your knees down. As long as from your shoulder down to your knee is one long straight line. And of course you can do it here. And then today's or tonight's option is going to be if you want a toe tap. 
So get ready. So we're coming up. And if you want, tap and tap. There's one. Tap and tap. There's two. Tap and tap. There's three. Tap and tap. There's four. Tap and tap. There's five. Tap and tap. There's six. Two more. Tap and tap. There's seven. One more. Ooh, all right, and then let's come down and relax. All right, so that brings us to the regular plank, which on the regular plank looks like that. Shoulders above the wrist can be like this as long as from your shoulder to your knee. One straight line out, something like that if you can. So we're gonna time a minute on this one. Make sure you're breathing. Do what you can. All right, so get yourself ready. And let's begin. So nice and strong. Keep breathing. Pushing into the hands. Pushing into the heels. And we've got 15 seconds. So nice and strong. This is the last hard one, if that gives you some uh, encouragement. It's there. And we've got 30 seconds. So keep going. Nice and strong. And we've got 45 seconds. Three, two, one. Relax, relax, relax. Ah. All right, and then Whenever you're ready to sit back to your heels, go ahead. If you have a knee issue tonight, just lay on your back and hug your knees in instead. But we want to stretch out the back after this plank. So work the back, isolate the back. And then last but not least is the rolling like a ball. So you can always modify that like this. Feels good, it's a good stretch. You should feel nice on your back. The full exercise, when you roll up, try not to let your feet touch. When you roll back, you're going only to your shoulder. And you're trying to keep your body in a ball and not like that, if you can help it. So, do this one. I used to always say, do as many times as you want. And then I'd wait for you guys to finish. And then we'd stretch. You can see and when you're finished. Ooh, so relax. Modify if you want. All right, so I think everyone should be finished by now. So let's stretch, let's open our arms wide and bring our knees over to one side. Now you could cross your leg if you want. You could hold on to your leg. You could look the other way. This way your neck gets a little stretch too. And then let's take it the other direction. And just relax. Alright, let's unroll. 
And thank you guys for coming, or I shouldn't say coming, for signing on tonight. And everybody, have a good night.